This is a story about the partnership between ASEAN and the United States. The ASEAN region is home to approximately 600 million people and has a combined nominal GDP that has grown to more than 2 trillion US dollars as of 2012, making its combined economy the eighth largest in the world. The ASEAN community to be established by 2015 includes three pillars covering political security, economic, and socio-cultural cooperation. The United States began engagement with ASEAN as a dialogue partner in 1977. In the early 1990s, development cooperation was increased. In 2006, ASEAN and the U.S. agreed to an enhanced partnership, signing a plan of action for cooperation. In 2009, the first ASEAN-U.S. leaders meeting was held in Singapore, where President Obama reaffirmed the support for the achievement of the ASEAN community. And in 2010, the United States became the first non-ASEAN country to establish a dedicated mission to ASEAN. Ambassador David Lee Carden was sworn in the following year. And in September of 2012, Secretary of State Clinton met with the ASEAN Committee of Permanent Representatives during her second visit to the ASEAN Secretariat. In helping to build the ASEAN community, the United States works with ASEAN across all three pillars of ASEAN integration, as well as providing support to the ASEAN Secretariat. Under the ASEAN Political Security Community, the U.S. has worked with ASEAN to promote an expanding human rights dialogue in the region. ASEAN and the United States have worked together to combat human trafficking in Southeast Asia through the MTV Exit Campaign. This series of live concerts, documentaries, and youth capacity building programs have raised regional awareness among hundreds of thousands of young ASEAN citizens. In addition to fighting trafficking in persons, the U.S. has supported the ASEAN Wildlife Enforcement Network to fight wildlife trafficking and protect the region's biodiversity. The U.S. is committed to working with the ASEAN Regional Forum to ensure security, peace, and prosperity. Cooperation has included the ARF Proxy Actors in Cyberspace Workshop to counter the growing threat of cyber attacks and terrorism. The ASEAN Economic Community strives for free flow of goods, services, investments, capital, and labor by 2015. Conservative estimates from a U.S.-supported study suggest that successful implementation of the AEC will increase ASEAN real incomes by 5.3% or more than six times the estimated effect of completing the ASEAN Free Trade Agreement alone. But it takes more than just the government. Meaningful engagement with the private sector is essential to the success of the ASEAN economic community. The U.S. has supported public-private dialogue in key areas such as food security, pandemic preparedness, and customs procedures. ASEAN and the United States are each other's fourth largest trading partners. The United States supports emphasizes regional trade facilitation initiatives, such as the ASEAN Single Window, which will create a coordinated e-customs system in the region. The U.S. has also supported harmonizing standards in areas such as medical devices and electronic device safety. Trade facilitation will help cut red tape and boost trade, improving economies and living standards. The ASEAN socio-cultural community focuses on nurturing the human, cultural, and natural resources in the people-oriented ASEAN. Food security is a vital issue in the region. The U.S. is working with ASEAN, the private sector, and civil society to help strengthen food and agricultural trade. In this disaster-prone region, the U.S. has supported a state-of-the-art disaster monitoring and response system, which has increased regional capacity for response and recovery from natural disasters. Youth engagement is vital to ASEAN, and the U.S. is working to support ASEAN to bring together the leaders of tomorrow. The ASEAN Curriculum Sourcebook is a toolkit to bring ASEAN themes into all subject areas in primary and secondary schools. The ASEAN Studies course is an undergraduate program that specifically focuses on ASEAN issues, history, and the emergence of a regional ASEAN identity and the ASEAN Youth Volunteer Program will help ASEAN youth make a sustainable difference to communities across the region. The U.S. is also assisting ASEAN in promoting climate-resilient cities. The CityLinks Pilot Partnership seeks to improve climate adaptation readiness in ASEAN cities. 
As ASEAN continues to evolve and grow in prominence on the world stage, so too will the U.S.-ASEAN partnership continue to develop, with the United States looking forward to many years of fruitful partnership as ASEAN achieves its goals for economic, political, and social development in Southeast Asia.